Right now, we are in the heart of Kingston at the beautiful Queens University campus. Queen's Engineering, which is also called Queen's Applied Science, has been around for over 100 years. Its motto, renowned spirit, unrivaled excellence. It doesn't get any better than this. So sit back and relax and get ready as we bring you the Queen's Engineering Top 10. Queen's has a great reputation. It's exceptional. Queens is known for having leading edge engineering programs. It hosts six disciplines, chemical, civil, computing, electrical, mechanical, and mining. Queens really stands out, I think, because of the, the quality of the facilities they offer and the quality of the professors. It's a great place to learn because everybody here wants to teach you. Uh, and the types of labs you'll have here are absolutely second to none. You get a lot of uh, lecture time, but then you get time to apply that. If you like things a bit more on the fundamental side, Queens has the widest range of engineering science programs in the country. Engineering math, physics, chemistry, and geological engineering. So engineering science is really more theoretical, kind of behind the scenes engineering. It kind of explains where the rest of it comes from. So it really gives us an in-depth uh, look into what's going on. It's a little more challenging, I think, than some of the other programs, but I, I really like the challenge, so uh, it's good. Well, to me, what sets Queen's apart from all the other institutions in Canada is the fact that we place a huge focus on professional skills as well as education. So you really come out of Queen's knowing how to behave in the industry and how to succeed. Hatch has uh, continually, continuously hired Queen's engineers for probably the last uh, 30 years. Uh, probably due to their strong, the strong uh, theoretical training they get at Queen's plus the immense flexibility that uh, we find in the graduates that we get. I know that everybody knows that our that students coming from Queens are generally well versed in group work and leadership and teamwork and spirit and all those sort of things more so than other schools. I can't imagine being anywhere else and completing an engineering degree. A lot of high school students don't know exactly what kind of engineering they want to do. But at Queens, that's not a problem. You don't have to choose right off the top. So the general first year is an opportunity to learn um, a little something about each type of engineering we have. They'll expose you to geology, to a degree of electrical and computing engineering. They'll also teach you about mechanical and civil so that when you have to make the choice as to what type of engineering to go into, you're very well versed and you can pick intelligently. It's come in first year, you have all your classes together, you're doing that so everyone's on the same base, so 500 students and you. And then out comes in January, they start having discipline nights. In discipline nights, uh, everyone goes to each of the buildings for each of the departments and you get to see uh, what the program's all about, some of the courses that you'd be taking, and talk to current students who are in the program. I went into the general first year and I was absolutely positive I was going to go into either mechanical or chemical engineering. That's really what sort of piqued my interest at the time. And then it went to January, I went to the orientation nights, and I realized that if I went into geo, I could stay outside and do labs and do field work. And I think the general first year was really beneficial and uh, just guiding me through that. All right, behind me is the IL Center. This is the main engineering building on campus. Now, this is used by students and professors from all engineering disciplines. Let's check it out. The Integrated Learning Center is the building that we're in right now, and um, it's called that for a reason. It's the living building, as people call it. When you walk in, the first thing you see is a big green wall, and it's a three-story wall made up of living plants and organisms that filter air through the building naturally. Okay, so now we're going to see how this building is actually alive, and cool. we can do that by looking at monitors which are around the ILC, and they can show you pressure, the temperature, present day, what's happening. Every single thing that goes on in this building is documented as far as power, electricity, um, you know, lighting, airflow, chemicals in the air, everything is documented. You can access it online and it's kind of like a learning experience in itself. As well, they've left a lot of the structural aspects of the building open so that students can see them and learn from them while they're wandering through. Actually, we're just going to walk past one of our workshops which is phenomenal for any type of students that want to do prototyping at all. They have all the equipment out here. And the equipment in here is just unbelievable. So these workshops are open and available for students to use? Anytime. 
I love the ILC. We can come here and do projects. I love the rooms. It's just a great example for future engineers. Yeah, so like when anyone goes into industry, like they're not like yeah. completely out of the loop of right. what's going on. They, they come into a job <laughs> knowing the tools, knowing yeah. kind of what's the newest and, and the best. That's, that's amazing. We can um, go onto the second floor then and show you the computer labs. We're growing up. So here we are on the second floor. And actually here is one of the computer plazas, which is used by students from all disciplines and it's amazing and they have like labs in here and everything so it's open to all students. It has all the up-to-date software on here too. The big thing here for the building is like interactive learning, not just having a classroom setting, you're right. sitting, prof is talking. But this is the teaching studio and so what they have here is they have all the monitors facing you. So you're and then you can wheel around and you have your own computer. So whatever the prof's doing or teaching, you can see on the monitor and you can just like flip your chair and you can do it yourself. So it gets people interacting so they're not as like scared to ask questions, smaller setting, and it just like helps them out. Third floor, let's go. So more group rooms. Oh, they don't stop. More group rooms. And here we have is our robotics lab. So the robotics lab. Let's check this out. Here. You can so see. tell me a little bit about this space. It looks expensive <laughs> and it looks very cool. What 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 happens in here? What happens in here is this is for students doing most likely the electrical and computing students doing any type of labs or projects. Now we're going to move on to the third floor plaza. We're going to show you some equipment some electrical and computing students use. Okay. And of course, uh, another set of computers available for students up here. So you can see as students are working, this is where they can do their labs. Yeah. So More unbelievable equipment that I have no idea how to operate. Nor do I, but it's got really cool colors. It so does. It looks expensive. It looks important. Ground floor. Here we are, first one. Back where we started. Well, yes. I want to thank you again. Thank you. For opening your many doors and, and showing us this building. It's, uh, it's amazing. I'm glad. I'm glad you could see that it really is a lot. It is. All right. Well, we're moving on. We've got more stuff to see, so I'm out. See you later. I'll see you later. In addition to the highly regarded engineering disciplines offered by Queens, the Queens Internship Program can also land you in some pretty cool places. The cool thing with the internship is that if you compare it to other school co-op programs, the internship lets you go away for 12 to 16 months, so you're actually going to get a full year of practical experience. So you get good experience, you really get to do the job, um, because they say a lot of times in industry, uh, you don't really know what you're doing for the first four to six months of a job. Oh, internship pay is obscene. I'm not going to say how much I'm making, but it's fantastic. Uh, it's enough for me to pay for my tuition, all my expenses, and uh, I bought a car as well. So uh, it's going to be really fantastic. For students who really want to broaden their university experience, the dual degree is very popular. The dual degree is just a second degree. It's not even a minor. You have on your hand a second degree. At the end of your four years of engineering, you normally only have to complete another ex one extra year to finish um, a completely other bachelor's degree. It's a great opportunity for someone who has different interests rather than their basic chemical or civil engineering degree. All right, another popular option is the exchange program in which engineering students have the ability to spend a semester abroad taking equivalent courses at partner universities. Some even include work experience. If you want to go on exchange, there are a number of great schools all around the world for you to choose from. There's a number of great programs that you can do there that you can't do here. People go to New Zealand, Australia, uh, Amsterdam, Germany, England, wherever for even a full year if they want for their third year and then just come back and finish still on time. For once it doesn't seem like it's a dream, it's a reality. Ask students at other engineering universities and they'll tell you how competitive their engineering programs are. See the problem is in the real world, engineers don't compete as much as they collaborate. So at Queen's University, the focus is collaboration, not competition. You guys need help? Yeah, the group work at Queen's in engineering is incredibly important. It's a collaboration between everybody. Competition is, is not something uh, that's, that you see a lot of. So it's a really positive learning environment. Everybody just works as a team regardless of whether you have to or not. And uh, I think you learn a lot more that way than you would if you were to just sit in your room and do things on your own. And that's what's really going to prepare you for life after university. 
Queens Engineering has a graduation rate of 91%. Now that is the highest rate of any engineering program in the country. Getting there wasn't easy. They do it by putting a face to every name. There's a lot of academic resources available, especially coming into first year. Uh, there are all kinds of uh, tutorials. There's people to help you out. There are resources. I think that the students are really eager to help each other out. As well as the director of first year who's always around to guide you through it, faculty advisors, and just the greatest profs here to help you out through that difficult time. For students who have trouble with the transition in the fall term of first year, J-Section is a great option. J-Section is an extended program that's offered for first years. And essentially, it's a safety net for students in first year who have struggled with some of their courses. And it gives them the opportunity to retake those courses in um, a condensed six-week program. And then they retake the finals, they can improve their marks, and start second year off on a clean plate. I am what's considered J-Section alumni. I went through the program myself. And it really gave me the opportunity to start fresh um, I think, honestly, otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to make it through an engineering program without this, this program itself. One thing about engineering is that it leads to great, well-paying careers. And Queen's engineers are some of the most highly sought after. I'm graduating this year and I've had a lot of offers for employment. The response is actually really high to Queen's um, engineers. I don't see myself having a terrible amount of trouble finding a job. There are loads of opportunities coming out of Queens. I think it has a great reputation with firms, both engineering and, you know, in general. We always go to Queens every year to make sure we're getting uh, whatever the best we can get. Queens, of course, is, is ranked number one in about everything, and we've had huge success with the grads we hire from Queens. Actually, I found uh, the Queens University education prepared me a lot for the workplace. Uh, through all of the engineering courses at Queens, you learn a lot about teamwork and time management, which really help you in the real workplace. You give this Queens guy something that's never been done on the face of the earth before, don't tell him that, and then just stand back and he'll do it because he doesn't know what you've asked is impossible. At Queen's, the percentage of women engineering students is about 23%. Now that is the highest percentage of any major engineering program in the country. They've got amazing female role models here, all the way from the Dean down to the TAs. And they are all packed with a lot of school spirit. As a girl in engineering, this is a great environment because you have people all the way from the Dean of Applied Science to your TAs to you know, a number of your classmates, the people that you work with who are all female. So you don't feel alone, you don't feel like if you only have males to work with, it's fantastic. I'd say females bring all kinds of new approaches that maybe you don't get with uh, the one-track mind that a lot of male engineers tend to have. We're pretty much the leaders of tomorrow. Yeah, female engineers, we're the same as guys, just better. In addition to the female influences in spirit, Queen's offers extended opportunities to females through extracurriculars. At Queen's University we have a club called WISE which is Women in Science and Engineering and we try to promote um, women, like women in engineering and show them exactly what it's about. We've been hosting the National Conference on Women in Engineering for the past 17 years. Queen's Engineering is all about having great choices and that doesn't just stop with academics. Your choices start the first week you get here with Frost Week. Frost Week it was the best week of my life. Uh, Frost Week isn't mandatory for everyone, but the experience in itself is, is phenomenal and I highly recommend it. Frost Week is incredible. This is Queens and it's amazing because I had my little brother with me and he was just like... So it's just, it's a lot of fun. Um, but if you, you know, didn't want to do it for whatever reason, no one's going to make it. As your first year progresses, more choices arise where you can participate in some design teams. Within engineering, there's a ton of options outside the classroom. Even though the course load is typically higher than in most other programs, um, there's lots of design teams and lots of ways to get involved, even outside of engineering. We have 16 design teams right now. There's a whole whack of things. There's a lot out there. So there are lots of opp opportunities to get involved. A highly notable project taken on by a past female grad is the Tea Room. Still running today, this totally organic coffee house has become the new hotspot for today's engineers. It's so environmentally friendly that they even have worms composting the garbage. The tea room is great. It's sustainable, it's environmentally friendly, 
is efficient. It's actually a great place to go and get coffee and you know that you're not harming the environment. So you're being a responsible engineer. Kingston is a relatively small town. What that means is a strong sense of community with the students, faculty, and alumni. A Queens engineering spirit is absolutely very contagious. Yeah, what's the reason for the, you know, the high levels of spirit is everyone working together, everyone going through the same experiences, and it just brings everyone together. There's so much to do. You're going to make way better friendships and just learn so much more about yourself and real practical life skills. Everyone's uh, here together, working together, and happy to be here, which is really refreshing. The spirit of Off Queens is that we know we're getting a good degree, and we know that we are helping each other, and that's pulling us all together into this tightly packed group, and we love it. That's the spirit. Campus extends throughout what's known as the Queens Ghetto, which essentially is 10 to 15 block radius around the campus, which is all students. You just walk everywhere, everyone's really close, and you get to know your neighbors really, really well. Queens Engineering is more like a family than it is a group of students. Um, everybody works together for each other, so. Coming to Queens, you receive more than just a quality education. You receive a renowned degree, make strong, everlasting friendships, and you have a lot of stories to tell your grandkids. See you in the fall.